James P. Madonna, are you fucking serious? Look how these people box me in, man. Look at that. How am I gonna get the fuck out of here? I can't leave the house without hitting somebody's bumper. How am I gonna get out of here? It's gonna take me forever. You gotta be fucking, fucking cocksucking. Are they serious? Son of a bitch. Welcome to uh, the New York metropolitan area. Greetings everyone. This is James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions. And before I go on to do my next video talk show, I am stopping by from my immediate area off Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, the one and only, the famous Bendix Diner, as seen on the Jerry Seinfeld Netflix series, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee. That's right. It is in my close area, and, and it, I love it here. Outstanding food, outstanding coffee, and I will go in soon before I go on to do my next show. Okay. James P. Madonna of Mega Life 21 and Progressive Discussions here. And uh, aside from the famous Bendix Diner in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey, Route 17 South, right behind the famous Teterboro Airport where everyone with private jets lands who wish to visit New York City. I, we are right next door, directly next door to the famous Bananas Comedy Club in the Holiday Inn on Route 17 South in Hasbro Heights, New Jersey. And there it is. The famous Bananas Comedy Club with a very highly rated Gabriel's Restaurant. She was, it, 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 yeah, she's like, you don't know what to believe. Like the boy who cried wolf. Like, you don't know what to believe from her. It's almost like whatever she says, believe the opposite. Oh, like what George Costanza did on Seinfeld. He did the opposite. Oh, he lies like a lot, right? You know, this is comfortable, man. I got my head back and everything. Yeah, his own son disowned him. I guess that's what you would call pathological liars, right? Yeah. Like, like, like this, this article which could be propaganda from the drug company about coconut oil being bad for you all of a sudden you know it, it got this article out and you know it, it versus tons of articles that say it's it's healthy for you you know but you know you, you got you, you got to understand yeah, you got to watch the uh, alternative therapies they just don't work yeah don't work. well i mean coconut oil has been used for thousands of years yeah, and, yeah Like for instance, peyote, was it peyote mushroom? What, what, this, how, what do you say, magic mushrooms, psychedelic mushrooms? What's the right term? Peyote, it's, it, it, a lot of articles are saying it regrows brain cells in people that... Well, that's different, it's an herb, you smoke it. Oh, you smoke that mushroom? Yeah, peyote, so the Indians have smoked it. Yeah, well they probably get, they probably give you like a, a an isolated extract in a, in a tablet or something. Most of your creative so-called geniuses, all the drugs or alcohol or some substance. Hallucinogenic uh, mushroom. Well, Nostradamus did that before he, he looked into the bowl of water. Actually, he admitted in Nostradamus that he took a hallucinogen, a, a natural hallucinogen, but he was a... Um, he wasn't just a, a, a prophet or psychic, he was a, um, an alchemist. 
he used to treat sick people with herbs, you know, like uh, people who had the, at that time you had the Black Plague. <laughs> yeah, but you know what they said? The Jewish population didn't, wasn't affected by the Black Plague because of their dietary, but I don't know, I don't even know how true that is. Well, I wasn't surprised that Donald Trump avoided the subject of John McCain because... Oh, no, yeah, he made a big statement today about the How about the White House bush? Yeah, they... No, John McCain did not want him at his funeral. No, but how about the White House bush? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they're all trying to... I must have missed something. Oh, the flag went... Wait a minute. It was half staff for... And he had to put back up full staff. And he went... And then the very next morning, it went up... He's so spiteful. He he's only interested in him. That's it. He's got the Republican Party pissed off at him. See, that's the problem. They're walking on eggshells right now. I told my friend in Boca Raton, I said, uh, why, why are you and these other people I know so thin-skinned? Why do you all walk on eggshells? Because you're afraid to tell the real truth because you don't want to offend anyone. I says, so you're going to like be like a car dealer. You're going to see... He fought. This one's gone. That one's now. Sesh, Jeff Sessions. No, but he's like. Yeah. At least look. At least a tradition. At least a career, a traditional career politician respects the you know the Constitution and the law, you know because a lot of them were lawyers. Right. Trump doesn't care about the U.S. Constitution. He's always defending Vladimir Putin. Oh, remember when he was uh, de not defending, but he praising uh, Kim Jong-un? Now Kim Jong-un is saying that we're... And now we're prepared. Kim Jong-un is saying we're prepared for war. Well, that's what Mad Dog Maddox, General uh, Maddox is his name. He says we have everything planned out in advance. They they know where to strike, when to strike, everything. The only problem they got to worry about is China now has, has these um, what do they call it? Subsonic missiles that can't be detected by radar. That's their claim. Whether it's true or not. Missiles that can't. Well, look at area. Look at area fifty-one. You can't get near there. The, supposedly move. Now there's an area fifty-two in Utah. Yeah. You, you, yeah, you you drive in Nevada and you get just a little too close. They come. You see the the the, uh, the agents what are you, come. What are you worried about? You're close. They're not close. <laughs> They're not. I, I that right away. So not down at all. And they have their own planes that go from Las Vegas no Airport. White, snow white, snow white, no, no, no lettering on the side. Nothing. It flies up the cliff. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think I think the agents' uh, SUVs are all tinted black, blacked out windows, you know. And they'll pull they'll pull their pistols out and say, "Don't go any, don't come any further, don't come any closer." They will, they will. That's classified. The only t you know what I find interesting? You ever hear deathbed confessions of people that spill the beans because they know they're going to die anyway? Those are fascinating. They they like to show them on the the ancient alien type of documentaries. I remember all these great guys like Werner von Braun. How he created missile. And they said to him on the interview. Ouch. 
how did you create these missiles in the system? He said, I had a lot of help. He pointed to a corner of the room, the camera went over to a UFO file. He said, I had a lot of help. He admitted it. Well, that guy after Roswell, the one that took the photograph holding the stupid weather balloon, you see the look on his face? He knew he had a lie for the, for the, for the Air Force. I met, I met the top guns from NASA, remember, through my dad. Remember what they told me back in 65? He said, you won't imagine what we have. You know how much of what you use for the alien technology? Fiber, fiber optics, the inter integrated uh, uh, nano techno, nano. Oh, like um. Yeah. Um. um what's, what? That's like the famous computer that played played chess with people. What's IBM? That was Watson. Watson. Okay. No, artificial intelligence. You're talking about. Well, look! Look how fast. Now, you know why it's called Watson. Oh, because Sherlock Holmes is a uh, uh, sidekick. No, where did you get that from? Oh, I don't know. Sherlock Holmes. My dear Watson used to say. Yeah, he said that, but he's got nothing to do. The founder of IBM was Thomas J. Watson. The Watson family. Yeah, I, IBM. Um, even though they they stopped making public machines, publicly sold machines for a long time, they have been very active in other things. Classified, yeah. Well, look at look at the objects. You know how the movie two thousand and one, how the computer Al was named. You do. 2001 Space Odyssey? Yeah, how the computer how was named. Oh, how it was named. H-A-L, how. H-A-L. Remember how the computer was named? Yeah, on the movie. Yeah, how was it named? It was an abbreviation for uh, oh, per yeah. initials. How was it named? I... every letter before I-B-M. Interesting. H-A-L, I-B-M. That's how the writer came up with the name. And all photographs, like let's say on the towards the dark side of the moon, the the artificial buildings. What I'm saying, they had they have photos of what looks to be man or or artificially made structures on the moon. What do you think our astronauts said? They went to the moon, Jerry. Then they had a dummy up. What they say? Well, they they saw a lot more than they were allowed to. Oh, you mean when? Oh, boom! There was, feels hollow. there was a resonance coming from the. Now Mars, they've seen cigar-shaped crafts take off from Mars. Mars was more than hit by an asteroid, maybe. Well, well, Mars is not Mars is not perfectly round. It's not a perfect sphere. It's it, it, one side of it is kind of flat. There you go. There you go. All you gotta do is get index cards and write big no, I ask it. the letters. Does it begin with an A? That's all you go down the alphabet. And second second letter. Does it begin? I've told that for years. Yeah, they, they had their atmosphere just like uh, We're not from this earth. Now you've heard the word terraforming. Scientists are thinking We're not of from Earth. We're about the races. And, and the Mayans, 
and the Hopi Indians. Well, they, were, they, were all well, they talked about sky gods, yeah, just like the, the yeah, yeah. 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 Last night they were talking about um, new revelations about t uh, Tutankhamun and. Uh, well, that that shape, you know the um, the crystal that I ordered. It's an obelisk. That that's a very ancient. No, no, the new the new one. It's the long one. I don't have it. No, it's. It's probably. Oh, yeah, I have. That's the one you got me that I have. Right. That's a. It's a. a yeah, it's it, very smooth. It was a, a, the shape of it is like the Washington Monument. It's an obelisk. That shape goes back to the days of the um, the Sumerians when they had the uh, talked about the Anunnaki. That shape, the obelisk, is the very Anunnaki ancient. Is the oldest alien race? No. Yeah, it's nothing but a pyramid on a on a. I don't know what you want to call it. A foul like a phallus or something? Yeah, an obelisk. It's a pyramid on top. And um, actually, it's been used in witchcraft for like thousands of years. Mysticism, that shape. But it goes back to the Anunnaki days, to this, when the Sumerians used, used to talk about the battle. Everything Sumerians remember, the Anunnaki were mankind. Well, the Indian uh, ancient... Remember when they described an ancient Indian Sanskrit about a, a, uh, a what do you call, anti-gravity device? They actually, a gyroscope inside of mercury, liquid mercury that when it spins around. No. So you get you you ask good pinpoint questions. And then you gotta realize too, everything that's been done even before mankind was recorded orderly and video wise. Yeah. Well yeah. Well it's interesting how the anti anti gravity device was described as a sphere with a gyroscope with liquid mercury. Now, did the United States? Well, I'm sure. I'm sure extraterrestrial beings use wormholes and uh, and in interdimensional. Oh, the government is also keeping a secret that they had in in um, they had live alien beings secretly. They weren't dead. I told you what the guys from NASA told me, 65, we're learning so much from them. They're treated well. That doesn't mean they're dead if I say they're treated no. well, Jerry. They're no. treated well because we're learning so much from them and them from us. Yeah, they call it reverse engineering, like like what, what China does. Well, I don't know if it's a reverse so much as they're giving us something we never heard before or imagined. Yeah, well, they're giving, they're, they want mankind to advance. Well. To a certain extent. No, no, yeah, but they give mankind a lot of shocks. When they meet, talk to people like Da Vinci or whatever, that's a shock. That's giving them things they never would have thought of. So that's, uh, yeah. you know, that's uh, not a Oh, jeez. Yeah, let me get. Oh, yeah, she's, she's, she comes every day. Just like just like she really cleaned out her, her hoarding purse. Yeah, remember when she was talking about her brother paying her bills and then you said, well, he must have power of attorney. And she like couldn't give you, she couldn't give an answer. She says, well, I, maybe, I guess. Yeah, well, you have, yeah, you, you can't just shake somebody's hand and say, oh, you have power of attorney now. Yeah, it's like, uh, well, there's, there's legal, there's financial power of attorney and then there's, uh, and then they call it, they always mention the living will. 
you know, they ask the relatives if something happens, you want to pull the plug on. Oh, she has not physically seen him in a. Well, then, when he's no guy. <laughs> my, my guy. I think I think she's she's really out out there, man. I think the Anunnaki will. Eileen the hoarder, yeah. You see, she doesn't realize it, but when she sits here and you're here and I'm here, it's like a form of group therapy, but I don't know if it's doing any good. I'm here. Uh, da, 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 da. She still would never went to Rochelle Park, like I told her. She says, what good is it going to do? They're going to say no. I says, how do you know? The worst that can happen is... No, the best thing that can happen is you might be able to apply for things that you don't have now. Oh, God. Um, uh, uh, um, there they uh, Phil Murphy or somebody I don't know if it was the new governor but they they kind of brought back rent subsidy but they only they only offer it in spurts like in other words you have only so many people can apply at a given time you know, once you have it you're not supposed to have somebody like Gab uh, uh, John Gabriel Realty like deny you and you know and and make it like disappear you know <clears throat> yeah well the fact that you have the fact that you have to wait so long yeah or you would have told me if you're back if you were back in there you know. Yeah. No, don't, don't. I mean, don't, don't forget. If, 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 if John Gabriel's going above the law, you, you get a lawyer and you, 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 you get him. Right. I know, but it's like an injustice, you know. It's not, it's not like an injustice. It is injustice. <clears throat> oh, you know, I haven't. What's going on with the World Cup? I totally haven't heard about the World Cup. Who won? I don't even know because they didn't. They didn't really. They didn't really cover it like they. Yeah, it takes so long to score a point. Just back and forth, back and forth. At least hockey is like a is an action-packed, fast-scoring game. Yeah. Football, uh, number one, ba baseball secondary. Speaking of baseball, uh, one of uh, Giancarlo Stanton is living up to his uh, salary. The guy, oh really? The guy that hit 59 home runs last year. Oh, the other guy too, uh, um, Judge, uh, Aaron Judge? Aaron Judge? I think his name is... Yeah, well, he, he hit 50, a little bit less than Stanton. You know, sports sports and even horse racing is funny. Look at the, like when Sammy Sosa and, and um, Mark McGuire was trying to b beat Roger Maris's all-time record. 
It was only for that one season that they started blasting home runs left and right. And then the other years, they were good, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, that was the pro that was the shooter. The first time it. Jacksonville. I remember B. Altman. I remember. They both swung big bats. Oh, those, those were worth. Those were probably worth a lot of money. Documentary by Billy Crystal, '61. Back in '61, I had two bats. Yeah, he gave me two bats. My my parents party. My mom gave me two bats. Huge parties. Close to our people. Cops were the record for that. Our bartender was a cop in Ridgewood. Sorry. Right. Joe Perillo. I'll never forget him. What a nice guy. He was Mickey Mantle's best man at his wedding. Wow. So one night he pulls up for the party at bartender. He says, Billy, come here. He had me go out. I was 12. Sit in this big, this jeep. I said, wow. You know what this is? No. This is Mickey Mantle's jeep. You know they really were they were really close friends in real life. They liked each other. Who? Mickey Mantle and Roger Maris. They even shared yeah, no, I'm talking about his best friend, Joe Oh that guy, okay. No, no, because I watched the documentary where, where the the media said that they were rivals. Yeah. And I met Well, Billy Martin went there too. I was a good fight. I was with Billy almost every night. Yeah. He was good to me. You know, I, I was an athlete too, and I didn't get his ass. And, and you talked about other subjects with him. We talked like, like friends. Yeah. Oh, he got he said, I knew he would come in when I'd feel somebody on my butt. I guess I knew him. He was putting his up. And, uh, no, but I just, I, according to the documentary, I found it amazing. It was on the, the Yankee, ch uh, the Yes Channel. That they, the media wanted to make it sound like they were like really bucking heads with each other, but they weren't. No, they really honestly liked each other a lot. There was, you know, I know he was from Oklahoma, Mantle. I don't know about Maris. I don't know where. He was. I don't know where he was from. Billy Martin was good. Yeah. Hank Aaron looks like a nice guy. Especially when they hear about you and how good you are and how cool you are, and whatever they think. I appreciate that too. So, you know. I feel that way even now. Is that prepared? Yeah, you're not a, a mark. You're not a mark oh, to. I got bothered by people. My reputation follows. This guy's not notable. He throws a ball. So, believe it, it's not there. Yeah. Well, you know, like people in the profession often call fans marks that, that are not. Oh, I have a lot of nice people came up to me. Yeah. A lot of nice people. Really nice. I can honestly say I don't remember any real jerks. Yeah. Right. yeah. See, Billy Martin knew by the way you treated him, where you came from. You know, you didn't slobber over him. You didn't say, oh, talk about the Yankees like during the whole damn. Uh, I never Yeah, but when, when you're having a conversation, but I, but I bet when you converse with any woman, you're a hundred percent 
honest and you don't you don't kiss nobody's you don't kiss nobody's ass. No. My one line one night, it wasn't a line. I walked into the uh, players club. I stood there and said, it's beautiful. I dated her for a while. Susan, beautiful, little tiny thing, five, two or three. Beautiful. The two guys were walking by and said, they were nice. She was rude to them. So I just want to tell you, this is my first walk in. I haven't just spoken to her. I just want to tell you, the most beautiful girl in this place. She just looked at me like, and they left. No, she couldn't have been nice. I just said, excuse me, but I gotta give you credit, they do have good taste. Well, you know, she probably used to getting hit on all, so many times. No, but she, I just, I told the truth, they do have good taste. For the blind. Yeah. yeah, because you don't, quote unquote, hit on anybody. I'm not desperate. I never was desperate. Yeah. Well, they, so well, they could they could sense it if you're if you're that. If you're, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, well, um, God rest his soul. Reverend Bill used to say, the older a man gets, the more he cares about what's going on between her a woman's ears. Sometimes you're exhausted, you're just tired. It's like a, yeah. It's like the a kid who has a high IQ and people think he has a learning disability. Yeah. So, so if, like, if if anything would have happened, it would have happened in a very smooth. Yeah. Yeah. I want to met myself. I think it's the only the first time I actually lost it. When I saw her get up, I went to her and I was She was called by her professors and others in magazines at the ultimate blonde bombshell. Wow. I said, why? Alright, yeah, yeah, that one, the, the one from Persia, the Persian girl. Yeah. Right. Now, when the when the Asian approached you in Whole Foods in Ridgewood at the time, you you really technically had no time because you would take care of your father. I like her. I like very Yeah. Now you know it's a nice Whole Foods, the one at the Bergen Mall in Paramus. I like. I've been in there several times. That's not a. I tell you, talk about good coffee. You can. Yeah. And they got they got good Wi they got real good Wi-Fi signal, not like the. But you can get like coffee from Sumatra or you know like really good coffee. I remember the first time my buddy met Marcel at Mando. Mike, Mike came over there. It wasn't Marcel. Mike came in. Ah. What a classic club. Mando was one of the best I've ever been to. Her back was two of us. He turned out and said, What? Oh my effing God. He didn't know what to say. Holy shit. He couldn't believe what she looked like. Oh my goodness. Oh. He was crazy. Probably overall appearance, body, face, hair. Everybody, no. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, back back then there were there was a lot of clubs to go to. Fort Lee had them. Param. They were all over the places. Archers. There was an archers bicycle club in Fort Lee. Bike. Remember the bicycle club? Oh, now it's basically probably a restaurant. The Cheshire Cat in Paramus. Uh, that, was, yeah, that was fun. Mando's was classic. Mando's was incredible. No, they, they a lot of them closed down. There's one, there's one that's right now, it's a real hot spot for uh, older people because they play classic dance music. Uh, Cubanel. In in um, Route 46 West in Totowa, in the holiday in the Holiday Inn, is a holiday. Yeah, it's in the Holiday Inn, I believe. It's called Cuban now. It's I, I've been there when it was Docks. It used to be called Docks. No, it's a nice place. I remember when Ray and I had to go to a trade show. Yeah. One of the guys that had a display booth there was Bowser. Bowser, yeah. I said, Ray, go up. With, with, with the mouth, yeah. He said, I can do it. I went up to him and said, what was with him? You'd be a bit of a dog. He laughed. He started laughing. Yeah. Ray would go up. You know what place is hopping that you would love? The Whiskey Cafe in Lindhurst by Medieval Times. They have a classic car on the weekend, classic car show out in the parking lot. I've heard that's very good. Yeah, no, they're, I hear they're packed, but it's an earlier crowd. It's not so much like late. Well, no, feel yeah, they, people usually start leaving about midnight, but they have a um, happy hour buffet. They come. Um, uh, mid mid uh, late no it's free it's a it's a free, it's a free happy hour buffet you just go and buy a beer or whatever but uh, they have different events there like one night they have uh, uh, they teach uh, line dancing country line dancing another night it's Latin dancing and uh, you know it's always something they used to, I, they used to have a great country bar right Oh yeah, yeah, I think I know what you mean now. It was popular too. I'm trying to remember the name. I met the band one day, a band of hearing a big band. It's way over here in Fairlawn on a music store. They said we're playing tonight at uh, Rainbow's End. Rainbow's End. They said we're gonna be at Rainbow's End and I come in, please. I did. It was desperate men. They're like eight, it was an eight member, like a glitter skinner. Boy, boy look at Wow. I like like old country and bluegrass. I like that. Um, what is that? Um, um, they, there's a mandolin that they use in country music, but it's not like the European mandolin. It's a. We can't have these. Yeah, right. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production.